How's it going guys? Ben here. Today we're fishing on Boston Harbor targeting striped bass and wow if we got a video for you. We had an incredible day on the water with a personal best striped bass in the boat. Today we're fishing with Captain Jonathan of Boston Sport Fishing Charters, my buddy Addison, and my brother Sam behind the camera. We had an early start to the day with the first order of business being to catch the bait. Today we're snagging pogies with weighted treble hooks. Now an early start usually pays off in striper fishing, but it can make it harder to spot the bait. Add a bit of wind to the equation and you've got yourself quite the challenge. We're looking at this school of pogie there. They're down low, down at about 25 feet to the bottom. And we need them to come up and we'll snag them and hopefully catch a bass. Hopefully. We're definitely catching a bass. That's the goal. Today, baby. All right. <laughs> we like it. We like it. Yeah, that's a better thick school right now. Mm -hmm. So we had the pogies at the top. Uh, we've lost them now. We had just a few surface aid, not enough to cast at them. Uh, so we're still looking for them and hopefully they pop back up. I want it really dark red. Like yeah. those are kind of spread out, you might get it. Yeah. But I want that thing dark. Like dark. what we had earlier. Yeah. The first one that we went over, yeah. We're just gonna take a walk out front, guys. See what's out there. They've been in here all the way out front. You just gotta kind of walk around and all right, find yeah. the right school. I like how many marks we have in here, though. Yeah. So there's a lot of fish inside here right now. No pogies up on top. See, we got the birds looking as well. Yeah. So they're all scattered around. We see them start to get tight together and dive down, and we know there's fish there. But right now, they're just scanning, so everyone's out here looking. Hang on for me. We're gonna do a little run here, right up to 200 yards, see what the fleet's doing. So we're gonna get a few more pogies in the boat, and then we're gonna hit the road. You can see all these other boats around us. It's pretty congested here. A lot of competition. Yeah, right here. All right, so we've got our bait in the boat. Got probably 
probably about a dozen pogie now. And we're hitting the road, we're getting away from the inner harbor. There's a bunch of boats there, a bunch of competition. We're seeing some bass on these schools, but not a whole lot. So we're gonna hit the road. Jonathan's gonna take us to the good spots and you know, live lines of pogies and get all the fish. my fluorocarbon I do a uh, improved fisherman's knot then right down to my circle hook I do a snell knot so snell knots real important when you're using a circle hook because when that it's made to go into the fish's stomach so when it's pulling out it actually grabs and you see how it curls in a little when it grabs so that hook will actually go into the lip I gotta cut the tail on that but that's why you do a snell knot on a circle hook, just because of how it pulls into the lid. Bridling, go right through the nostrils, right out the other side. Pull tight, go right over the hook again. Pull it up. One, two, three. Hold on. Always have it pointing up, just like that. about how far you let these out? Um, so this one's weighted to the bottom. I got this one two colors out. I use braided line, color changing braided line. Nice. So okay. I can actually fish accurately. So I'm about two and a half colors out. So like 70 feet-ish. Okay. You look at the screen, it's pretty lit up right now. Yeah, um, yeah, oh yeah. Just need one of these to see if they're... My pogies. Yeah. If not, we're gonna throw the rock candies at them. All right, awesome. Oh, fish on. Nice, nice. There we go. Just on. Right here. Let's watch this rod, all right? Yep. On and off. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. You got it, you got it. Yep. Oh. Uh, right there. That's what's hard about these circle hooks. So, man, based on how it just ran. Always keeping the tension on, bringing these in. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just saw him on top out there. Oh, okay, there's your fish. fish. Nice oh, fish. Yeah, yeah. That is a cow. Yeah. Oh, that's oh a cow, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Right, go walk over to the side. That is a oh, fish, right. dude. Woo! Oh, that's a beast. Trying to get him in here. Oh my god. Madison, buddy. <laughs> there tip we go. Down, tip down, tip down, tip down. Tip down. Yep. Buddy, look at that. Oh. Oh my Jonathan, he put us on him. That's a fish. Oh my god. That thing's killer. That thing's killer. Oh yeah, man. Absolutely. That's a big fish. What do you say? 43? No. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, 44. Yeah. Yeah, 45. Oh, yeah. Squeeze that 45. Yeah. There you go, man. Oh Good my job. gosh. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, that All right. is a freaking fish. Can you get a picture of this thing, Addison? Yeah, I got Send it. Send it back? Yep. Oh my god. We didn't want to do that. Pick it up, toss it back. Get up there like that, all right? Perfect. 
fix. All About right. right there for me. There we go. When I say Captain Jonathan is the man, I mean it. He put us on the fish straight away, and we could barely reset from that first bite before we had another on the line. Nothing you can't really beat, Bowden Fisher. Fish on, there you go. Jonathan has got us on him today. Just released that one, 45 inch fish, 34 pound fish. Got another one on right away. I don't think it's quite as big as that. Too big. Yeah. One inch too All big. Right. Oh, nice. All right, still a beautiful fish, though. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. It's gone. Just like that. Damn, baby. Right. Let's do it. Rally be at work. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. I haven't even started mine yet. Wow. The bite was on when we first got out. However, as often happens in fishing, when the tide changed, the bite slowed down. So these fish are very tide orientated. Right. They like moving water. So as soon as she slacks off, bite usually dies off. But I will say the big ones will, will eat too. Yeah. Like during a slack. Yeah. Usually yeah. like you're not going to catch like um, the small schooling fish, but you'll get the hogs. Yeah. Right. Make a move here. Yeah. We're going to grain your pastures. Gonna troll some rapalas. Oh yeah. We moved to a new location in hopes of finding a large school of bass that Jonathan had seen feeding in the days before. We trolled deep diving plugs at six knots to cover some ground in search of these fish. And we had some action, but we couldn't keep the fish on the line and we couldn't find the large school we were looking for. Reports on the VHF started to come through about bass feeding in the inner harbor, so we pulled our lines and headed in that direction. Man, are we glad we did, because it wasn't long before we were back in the action. and there's still a pogey on that other one there. All right, guys. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Get it. Yeah, nice. Did this have a weight on it? No. All right, nice. All right, what do you think, Sam? 30 inches? I hope so. I think I'm a fish with mom. How's it feel? There's some shaking for sure. Yeah, dude. It's not a lot of weight, but it's a good bite to it. Here we go. Yeah. 
You got color? Oh yeah, that's yeah, nice, man. Man. Beautiful, oh, yeah, man. man. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, a good bat, Jonathan. Yeah. Nice. Nice bed. Well, yeah. Half inch too big. Right. Oh, nice. All right, beautiful bass. Still out on here in Boston Harbor. Look at this. All right, vacuuming go. 31 and a half. Cool. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it again. again. Oh yeah, we needed that. Yeah, we did. That was good. That was good. Unfortunately, we did not do it again. That was the last bass of the day but that doesn't mean we didn't still have an incredible day out on the water. So we're headed in now. We had a sick day on the water. Jonathan put us on the fish. Awesome 43 inch bass. Yep, which yeah, I thought was- 45. Was 45. 45. Yeah, that was a 45 It'll be 47 by the time we yeah, get to the dock. Uh, 45 inch bass. I had the smart end, it yeah, was 45. Yeah. We, we got right here though. We'll check the pictures, but uh, yeah. 45 inches, 34 pounds. No, incredible day. Yeah. A few other nice fish too. Yeah, no awesome. slots, but you know, they only give us a three inch window to work That's with, fine. you know? No, we made it happen, so it's good fishing. Yeah, yeah. cheers, man. Yeah, thank, thank you, bro. You much, cheers, man. dude. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, we can do this again. Please yeah. and thank you. You got yeah. a great crew. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> again, a huge thank you to Jonathan for sharing his knowledge and expertise of this incredible fishery. A huge thank you to Addison for reeling in one of the biggest striped bass I've ever seen. And a huge thank you to Sam for filming it all. Until next time, guys.